Welcome. We are back with Shannon Bedore and Jerry O'Connell. Watch the Jerry O Show. August 12th on Fox. Check your local listings. All right. Let's go back to the phones. Tara from Virginia. Hey, Tara, what's your question? Hi, Andy. Hi, Shannon. Hi. Um, my question. Hi. My question is for Jerry. So, Jerry, I'm very excited about your show. Yeah. Um, and I'm wondering if there's any Bravo celebrity you wouldn't want to have on your show. Well, that's a good question. Anyone that's just too hot for TV or you just don't feel like you could navigate. I, I got to tell you, there's no Bravo celebrity I would not want to have. Wow. I mean... Maybe the cast of Opre Ski. <laughs> you, you love an Opre want, Ski joke. I don't want them. Let's go to Melissa. Nobody wants them. Get out of here, Opre they're, Ski. They're gone. Nobody Guess wants what? you. Uh, it's long canceled, yeah. so you don't have to worry about Oh, and that. how about Van Kempen? I don't want that guy either. <laughs> <laughs> old, old school jokes. Old school love jokes. It. Simon Van Kempen. <laughs> Let's go to Melissa from Chicago. I love you. I love you, Jerry. Hi, Andy. Hey. Hi, Andy. Hi, Shannon. Hi, uh, Jerry. Just wanted to thank you for your time in Chicago today. Andy, you were a lighthouse, and we loved you. You are so welcome, and Shout and out. and and all your energy in the room got me back to New York because all the flights started getting canceled. <laughs> and literally, I asked Jerry, I go, you might have to host the show tonight. I've never missed air in 10 years, wow. but it was almost just the two of you. Wow. Yes. Anyway. Um, we would have gotten my wife here, so it was come so on. Fun. You know, we're all text away. I had some... Yeah, I had some contacts that I was actually texting about private jets. I was like, can we get something? I know. Anyway, Thank you. I was begging I them for a private jet. Yes. <laughs> yeah, anything at this point. Seriously. No, but um, my I took the subway Shannon, here. But just <laughs> <laughs> probably faster than Chicago traffic. But yeah, true. Anyway, um, Shannon, private I just jets. wanted to congratulate you on your glow. We've kind of watched you struggle and and also, Andy, to the credit of, as a mom, you let us take off our mom jeans and our turtlenecks and grow with this franchise. So I also appreciate that gift. But Shannon, when did it click for you um, where, because I know you hated exercise for a while, we all do. When did it click for you? Because you have such a glow about you and it's definitely not makeup, it's not exercise, it's just an internal glow. Thank, thank you so much. I mean, I think that after last season, I realized that I can stand on my own two feet and I don't need anybody else but myself. And that gave me the confidence, but I still had the physical issues and I had to make that commitment to lose all of the weight. And yeah, I still can't stand exercise, but I tell you what I like, it's walking, because when you walk to one point and I do a really steep hill, you gotta walk home. Right. You can't, you, can't, you know, you I mean, Uber. I guess you could Uber. Somebody said that to me yesterday. Right. But you know, so walking has been quite helpful. For Let's me. go to Valerie from Northport. Hey, Valerie. Hey, Andy. I just wanted to tell Shannon how great she looks. And I wanted to ask Jerry, um, is he going to have a catchphrase like Wendy does? Yeah, you've been and auditioning new. You've been looking for catchphrases. I've been following on social media. Have yeah. you found one yet? Um, I got to tell you, you know, Wendy, of course, has the how you doing. How you doing. Um, I think uh, I think we're going to go with, I mean, uh, let me just try it out here and see how yeah. you guys like it. If I come out and I'll be like, Jerry, oh, no, you did <laughs> Good. Great. It is great. It's great. It's in, guys. It's in. It's there in the show. Are. When you see it, when you see me on Monday, August twelfth, and you see me come out and go, Jerry, oh, <laughs> no, you did. And that's you're how you're gonna know. do it, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna get crazier and crazier as the week goes on. Tonight on the OC premiere, we went the new Shannon Storms Bedore, who's also been meeting quite a few new men. Babe, can I call you babe? Yeah. Um, anyway, <laughs> let's learn some more about Shannon's rules of romance with a round of Shannon's Be Dating Do's and Don'ts. I have some topics for you. Do or don't go Dutch on a first date. No Dutch. No Old doubt. School. Right. Do or don't have a man pick you up at home. Well, if you don't know them, yeah, you meet them. Do, do or don't eat garlic on a first date. Eat it. Do or don't make out on a first date. Make out. Do or don't get drunk on a first date. A couple cocktails. Do or don't tell your new BF about your dating history slash marriage. Oh yeah, don't talk about the past. Do, do or don't have a one night stand. No one night stands. Shoes on. Do or don't go all the way on a third date. No, no, not on a third date. At what date? Well, you got to get to know the person. 
sex is, an, is a commitment. Yeah. yeah. Do or don't introduce your new BF to your kids after a month. Well, that happened with me. Thank you very much, Shannon McGraw. <laughs> Let's go to Kendi from Virginia. Hey, Kendi, what's your question? Hi, Shannon. Hi. Um, you look amazing, by the way. Thank you. I was just wondering, when is the last time that you talked to Heather DeBro? You know, I haven't spoke to her uh, at all. I mean, I've, I see her out from time to time, and we're friendly and we're cordial. But um, I don't know. When she was off the show, we didn't really maintain a friendship. Let's go to Miranda from Houston. Hey, Miranda, what's your question? Hey, I was just wondering if um, Wendy's doing okay with everything that's going on with her life since her and Jerry are so close and she's taking over or he's taking over for her for a while. Well, I'm not taking over for Wendy. <laughs> I mean, it's the Wendy show. I work for I work for Wendy. Um, this is a spinoff of her show. She's my boss. She's doing great. I mean, she's doing great. Let's go to Jake from Michigan. Hey, Jake, what's your question? Hey, Zanny, how are you? I'm great, thanks. <laughs> Hey, my question is for Shannon. Shannon, so here's the thing. I think that Gina was there for you last season, and I think that she really wanted to support you. How are you guys doing this season? We're good. We're good. But let's not forget the last line words, you're an open book of bullshit. And that's how we ended it. I mean, that's right. how you saw it. But no, I, I've been there for her this season, and we did develop a bond. I, 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 I will debate you on whether you thought that she was there for me last season because we've had conversations about it, but you know, mm. everyone's entitled to their own opinion. I guess so. <laughs> That's what's fun about this show. <laughs> All right, I want to thank Shannon and Jerry. Watch the Jerry O Show uh, August 12th on Fox. Check your local listings. Megan Brosnan, you can see her at Brooklyn Cat Cafe. Thank you, Megan. Adopt these cats. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.